It's Lexi. Welcome back to another cleaning video. So today we're getting right into the cleaning. We did the front of the house in my last cleaning video, and this is kind of like part two where I take you and share with you the back of the house as I get it cleaned and ready for the week. So we're starting in the guest bathroom. We just had some family leave, and I just wanted to get the guest bathroom nice and clean. So I always love starting with sweeping the floors first. That way nothing gets stuck on when you start using cleaning products and water. You guys know what I mean, where you start cleaning and like dust is stuck on the floors from the water. So I like to start by sweeping first and then I'm gonna be going around and spraying down the bathroom completely. So I'm using the scrubbing bubbles. I picked this up from Target and I'm using it to spray down the shower. And then I like to keep the little shower caddy in there. So that way I can clean it while it's in there. And I spray the shower completely down, the walls of the shower, also the glass as well. And then I'm also gonna be spraying down all the countertops and toilet. This is a disinfecting spray. It needs to sit for 10 minutes to disinfect so completely spray down the toilet and also the countertops as well we'll let that sit we're moving into the laundry room and I had the bathroom mats in the washer that we're gonna be washing here in a second but I noticed the washer and the dryer needed to be wiped down because it was pretty dusty could you be the one to kill my sorrows maybe one night you can play the hero now that we have the washing machine wiped down, I'm gonna go ahead and run the bathroom mat. So I like to wash these after every guest have left and then I'll wash ours with these. Just makes it easier that way to make it a full load. So I just add some washing detergent and some OxyClean and I wash it on the delicate cycle and I also dry it on the delicate cycle as well. While we're in here, we're just gonna wipe down the dryer very quickly. And then we're gonna be moving into the guest bedroom and I'm gonna be deodorizing the mattress. And every time I do this, I'm never filming so I'm so excited that I'm actually filming today but I just get a bowl and I add baking soda and I add some a lemon essential oil I end up having to do more baking soda so I would do about a cup this was about a half a cup and I add about 20 drops of essential oil and give it a good mix and then I go ahead and put it on the mattress to deodorize it. Now, I do keep a mattress protector on the mattress, so we don't really get a lot of bacteria that gets on our mattress, but I do like to do this pretty frequently since this is our guest bed, and just to make sure I'm removing any of those dust particles that may get on the mattress. So you put the baking soda on there, let it sit for 20 minutes, and then we'll be coming back to vacuum it. While that baking soda sits on the mattress, I figured we'd move back into the bathroom. The products have had time to sit and disinfect. So I'm wiping down the mirror with just some glass cleaner. And then we're gonna be moving on to wiping down all the surfaces. We're gonna wipe down the counters, the cabinets, the toilet, and give the shower a good scrub. The disinfectant spray had pretty much dried up on the toilet, so I'm using these disinfecting wipes that I got from Costco to wipe down the little toilet paper holder and also the toilet as well. So I'm constantly rotating this around and changing it out. That way I'm not, you know, spreading bacteria. But I wipe the toilet really well, wipe the base, and then we'll also be cleaning out the inside of it with the Clorox wand. And I also like to wipe down the Clorox wand container as well, so that's nice and clean.
now we're in the shower. I washed my hands, of course, and now we're gonna scrub out the shower. I'm just reapplying some of the Mr. Bubbles, and I will say this worked really well. I think because I let it sit for so long, everything just scrubbed right away. Um, one thing I recommend is getting a shower head that removes. When I lived in an apartment even, I always changed out the shower heads to have this. I don't know how people function without it. It just makes it so much easier when taking a shower and also cleaning the shower as well. But you can buy the little shower head attachment from Amazon. And if you live in an apartment, just keep the one that your apartment came with. And when you move out, you can just change it back. But so worth it. It makes cleaning the shower out so much easier so you're not having to keep like bringing a cup of water in. But scrub the shower walls and now scrubbing the shower floors. And I love wearing Crocs because I just hosed these down when I was done cleaning, dried them off, and I was good to go and walk through the rest of my house. down the shower glass the inside of it and also the outside as well and now I'm just gonna steam mop the floors now I love a steam mop because the only thing you have to add is water and it sanitizes your floors it removes 99.9 percent .9 of all like germs and bacteria so I love using it in the bathroom and you can get two uses out of it so I used it in this bathroom and then I flipped over the little cleaning pad and then you can use it again and then you just pop the cleaning pad in the washing machine this is linked to my Amazon storefront but it cleans the floor so well and I do put a couple of drops of essential oil on the cleaning pad and then when the steam releases you just smell that beautiful smell whatever scent that you use but you don't want to add any essential oils in the actual tank because that will mess up your machine so we're gonna clean these floors and then we're gonna move on to the rest of the house while we wait for those bath mats to wash and dry so So the baking soda had been sitting on the mattress probably for about 30 minutes by now and I'm vacuuming it, completely deodorizing the mattress. The room smelled so fresh. That was like from adding the lemon essential oils. Now, you don't have to add the essential oil in the baking soda. Baking soda works just fine by itself. So I vacuumed the mattress and then I needed to vacuum the headboard as well because this is like a cream color and there was so much dust on it, you could just see it. It had been a really long time since I did that. So I took care of vacuuming the mattress and the headboard, and then I sprayed my Tide antibacterial spray just to make sure I removed any bacteria that maybe the vacuum didn't pick up. And then we're gonna add the clean mattress protector, clean sheets, and clean duvet back on the bed. And 
now we're just gonna wipe down all the surfaces here in the guest bedroom, wiping down the nightstands, lamps, just everything that needs to be wiped down and getting it ready for the next time we have guests, which actually is in a few days. Ryan's family's coming to visit. I know, we stay entertaining here. And then I wash this blanket and I'm just folding it and putting it back in the basket. We keep our house really cold, so we love having this blanket for our guests, so that way we don't freeze them. My husband loves to keep the house at like 68, so it's always pretty cold in our house. But wiping down the dresser and the remotes as well, and then we're gonna finish this off by vacuuming the floors. Look how pretty the guest room is. It's ready for our guests. It's disinfected, nice and clean. So now we're moving into the master bedroom and there wasn't much to do here. Honestly, we do such a good job at keeping this room clean. Like this is probably one of the only few rooms in the house that stays clean at all times, but I needed to change the sheets out. It wasn't time to wash the duvet yet, but I just wanted to really get some fresh sheets on the bed because it had been a week and we do change our sheets out once a week. So I'm gonna add a fresh pair of sheets and we're gonna get this bed made up and that's really all we needed to do in this master bedroom. I'm really good about wiping down the surfaces like every couple of days and wiping down the bathroom. So it really does stay clean. So there wasn't much we had to do here. Beds nice and made. This room is put back together, and that's all the cleaning that we were able to get done today. If you guys missed part one, where I clean the kitchen, family room, the front of the house, definitely check out that video. I'll tag it above for you guys, so that way you can check it out. And by this time, the bathroom mats were washed and dried, so I added them back in the bathroom. I also refilled the soap and lotion pumps and restocked the paper towels for our guests, so that is ready to go. And then I added the body wash back in the shower, restocked the toilet paper. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.